Uh, welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I want us to discuss uh, form 2 chemistry. Topic structure of the atom and the periodic table. Uh, subtopic structure of the atom. This is lesson number one. Now, objectives of this topic by then, by the end of this topic, the learner should be able to define the structure of the atom and write the electron configuration. Uh, define atomic number, mass number, isotopes, and relative atomic mass. Define relative atomic mass from isotopic composition. Use the electron configuration to determine the position of an element in the periodic table and predict the type of ion it forms. Define uh, valency and oxidation number of an element. Use a valency to drive chemical formulae of compounds. And finally, write balanced chemical equations. Now, definition of atom. Atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. We have subatomic particles. Uh, these are uh, smaller particles which are found within an atom. They include uh, number one neutrons. We have protons and electrons. Now, the atom is made up of uh, two regions. We have a small uh, central uh, part called the nucleus. And we have the larger region surrounding the nucleus called the energy level. The nucleus consists of protons and neutrons, and therefore the protons and neutrons are referred to as nucleons because they are found in the nucleus. The larger region surrounding the nucleus consists of electrons. Uh, the general structure of an atom is as shown below. So you can see the central region, which is the nucleus, containing the protons and neutrons. And you have the region surrounding the nucleus called the energy level, which contains the electrons. Now, the hydrogen atom, which is the simplest in composition, has one proton, one electron, and has no neutron. Therefore, the atom of the next element is helium, which has two protons, or two electrons, and two neutrons. So you can see the structure of helium. You see now the central region, we have the positive particles, which are the protons. We also have neutrons, which have no charge. And then the region surrounding the nucleus, which is the energy level, we have electrons which are negatively charged particles. So you can see within the nucleus, you have two protons, two neutrons, and the energy level, you have two electrons. Now, what are the characteristics of the subatomic particles? Number one, uh, the proton is a positively charged particle, which are found in the nucleus. Uh, the electron is a negatively charged, which are found in the energy level and the neutron has no charge and therefore it is found in the nucleus now here we have a table a subatomic particle we have proton it has a relative atomic mass of one the electrical charge is a positive one a neutron the relative atomic mass is one it has no charge therefore it's neutral and then you have electron it has no relative atomic mass and the charge is a negative one now remember that the number of protons is usually equal to the number of electrons for any given atom and this makes the atom to be electrically neutral so in case now you are asked explain why an atom is electrically neutral the reason is because of equal number of protons and electrons that counterbalance each other for example hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron while a helium has two protons and two electrons now, you need to know that the neutrons in the nucleus contribute to the stability of the nucleus. Now, from there, now you need to know atomic number and mass number. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, meaning meaning the number of protons equal to the atomic number. For example, a hydrogen atom has one proton in the nucleus, therefore its atomic number is one. Likewise, an atom of helium has two protons, therefore its atomic number is two. Sodium has 11 protons, therefore its atomic number is 11. Now, what is mass number? Mass number is the sum of the protons and neutrons in an atom of an element. So, mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. The sum of the protons and neutrons is what constitutes the mass number. For example, an atom of hydrogen has one proton and no neutron in its nucleus. Therefore, the mass number is one because mass number is equal to proton plus a neutron. Now, helium has two protons and two neutrons. Consequently, the mass number is four because uh, mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons, and that gives you four. Now, both mass and atomic number can be written along with the symbol of an element. 
the conventional way of representing the mass number is to write the mass number as a superscript in front of the chemical symbol eg we have sodium there so you see now uh, the superscript is 23 meaning the mass number is 23 the atomic number is written as a subscript in front of the symbol uh, meaning you have sodium you see now the sub the, the subscript 11 which is the atomic number therefore the element is represented as sodium na here now we have a table of uh, the first 20 elements of the periodic table uh, showing their symbol the number of electrons number of protons number of neutrons atomic number and mass number now to begin with the hydrogen the symbol is h so the number of electron is one the number of proton is one the number of neutron is zero the atomic number is one and the mass number is one remember that number of protons and number of electrons and the atomic number all are equal protons electrons and atomic number are equal again remember that for you to get the mass number you say protons plus neutrons okay now you have helium you can see it has uh, two electrons the protons is a uh, two uh, neutrons two atomic number two mass number becomes four lithium atomic uh, electrons three protons three number of neutrons for atomic number three mass number seven now beryllium the number of electrons is four the number of protons four the number of neutrons four the atomic number four so the mass number for you to get what you need to do you take the number of protons which is four you add the number of neutrons four therefore the mass number becomes eight now baron so the number of electrons is a dash so but you know the number of protons is five so they are equal so that the number of electrons becomes five the number of neutrons a dash the atomic number is equal to the number of protons which is five then the mass number is 11 so if you have the mass number and you have protons you can get the number of neutrons so it will be now 11 minus 5 and therefore the number of neutrons for baron now becomes 6. now the rest i want you to try and fill them like for example now we have calcium you see the number of electrons is a dash but you have the number of protons so if you have the number of protons it's equal to the number of electrons so the number of electrons will be 20. the atomic number is also 20 because they are equal for you to get the mass number we need to, what do you need to do you take the number of protons which is 20 plus the number of neutrons which is 20 therefore the answer becomes uh, 40. now i want you to fill the rest and uh, submit in our comment section for more videos uh, subscribe to our channel uh, thank you